Hello and welcome to the Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts and the um, Wrath of the Lich King, I guess. Um, uh, what I think of them or whatever. Uh, this is Clam MD25. And um, this is not Banjo Tooie. I pulled just a random ROM up that I had, and this happened to be the one, so. Uh, let's start with Nuts and Bolts. First off, uh, I have to say that Nuts and Bolts is not a Banjo-Kazooie game. Nuts and Bolts is a game that could have been put as a different character whatsoever. It could have been a brand new character and that would have been just fine. But it's not Banjo-Kazooie. There's very, very, very little platforming involved. But, besides that, it's a pretty good game. It's pretty good. Amazing game. But, that is one thing. It's just... Just not a bad of the game. Which makes me sad. It's... I've already beaten it like three days after it was released. Um... Vehicle creation is really fun. I thought it was gonna have to. When you make vehicles, it actually had to make sense, and um, it really doesn't. You can put the fuel like ten miles away from the engine, and it really doesn't matter. Or you can put the fuel right next to the engine, and you'll get the same exact results. But there's actually really no sense. You really can make anything you want. But vehicle creation is really awesome. Uh, let's. Uh, the fact that um, the end grunty battle is pretty pathetic compared to the other uh, end, gr end grunty battles is it's pitiful in comparison. Uh, it's ridiculously easy, and the Banjo Tooie end boss is always so or is so hard. And Banjo Tooie grunty is pretty tough too, although not as tough as the two. What else? Uh, it's split into X, uh, which is, I guess, okay. X would be fine even if it was a normal Banjo game, but once again, not holding to classic Banjo Kazooiness, but I don't care about that. Um, the music. The music is good on parts where they made new music. The music is terrible when they used rehashes of old games. I heard Rusty Bucket Bay there. I heard, uh, let's see, I heard Jinjo Village, and I heard a bunch of stuff that was already done. So that was pretty sad. But ones like Nutty Acres, which is 100% new, or uh, I don't know, um, a different level, Log Box. That one was pretty fun. Log Box 720. The music is okay. Not like amazing like the other ones. I wouldn't play it on piano, but where there it's original. Banjo Land, I can't believe they made an entire level based on previous banjo games. I mean how desperate are you if you have to do that? That's pretty sad. Okay, but Uh, story is just like uh, the old banjo games. I'm comparing everything to the old banjo games because the old banjo games are amazing. Um, the graphics are... I haven't seen any. Although it's blocky on purpose, but the graphics are just amazingly stupendous. I don't think I can name anything better than right now, but... Obviously an upgrade from the old ones. Um... What else? Um, only about halfway through the video. What else can I talk about? The levels. They only had six levels, which is awful. If you've played a banjo game, you know there are nine levels to each banjo game. When they put six, I was like, what? Uh, it's pretty sad. Also, in the very end, it's uh, like uh, old banjo tradition. They left a little um, notes of there's going to be another game. 
like in Banjo Kazooie, they talked about Banjo Tooie a whole bunch. And in Banjo Tooie, they made a small note of Banjo Three, which obviously didn't happen so far. Um, but in this one, they kind of left notes, and then they kind of didn't. So conflicting messages, but there's not. There's going to be another game. I don't know if it's like this. I don't want another Banjo game. I want. Another this game, whatever this is. Vehicle creation. Now, I want another 3D platform. I can't name the last 3D platform, which was actually really good. So, it's pretty pathetic. Since apparently, uh, 3D platformers have gotten pretty bad. And no, I'm not counting, um, Live and Reloaded, that is not a 3D platform. That is Funkers Bad Fur Day. Well, it is a 3D platform, but it's just a remake. But, I don't know if that's enough. So, overall, I would give it a... Gameplay is 9. Uh, going by the old. Graphics are 10. Um, and story is... I don't know, a six, not very good, but. So overall, I would give it a, an eight. So I would suggest you buy this game, but don't buy it if you only want Banjo-Kazooie, because you're not going to get Banjo-Kazooie. And I guess that's it for my Banjo-Kazooie, uh, nuts and bolts. Uh, I don't know, impressions, whatever I, get, whatever I called it in the beginning. But, now to Wrath of the Lich King. Wrath of the Lich King is an amazing upgrade. Um, it's, I mean, a new Death Knight, the new continent, although I haven't really explored it that much, new cap a new big city, the new Shatrath, um, just a whole bunch of good updates. Uh, inscription, even though that wasn't really part of the upgrade, it was more part of that one patch, but whatever. So, I'm going to talk more about Death Knights than um, Northrend, because my main, I'm so slow at leveling, so I don't think I'm going to get anything above 70 for a little while. But I'm modeling my Death Knight, uh, which is really fun. Uh, Death Knights are amazing. I would go Blood. I would suggest blood because it's just ridiculously overpowered and um, how you can just heal yourself and then I mean I took on five level 63s and one 63 elite soloed with just me, my ghoul, and dancing swords which was really pathetically easy. I think I ended the uh, 73 elite with uh, half health left. Oh no I don't want it to talk to me. <laughs> It out. But it's really good. The continent of Northern. I heard that the um, audio is amazing, although I normally don't listen to audio, I listen to my podcast. Um, uh, but the music is supposed to be amazing with bagpipes and stuff. I turned it on for a second and I didn't really hear anything. But also, for lore people, which I kind of am one. The lore is amazing. The lore is really good. I don't know why I keep doing that. But. The lore is just stupendous. So. How the Death Knight is back. And Arthas is seeking revenge. That's just. Great. So, I'm running low on time. So. I just. Let's see. Wrath of Lich King. Gameplay. Nine and a half. Really good. Uh, graphics. I don't know, whatever the old World of Warcraft ones were. Um, eight and a half. Story. Nine and a half again. So what would I suggest it? Uh, I would suggest a... 9.3. Uh, I would suggest this for anyone... He likes uh, MMO RPGs and interested in World of Warcraft. And if you already play World of Warcraft, you probably already have this. So, 
Thank you for listening to this impressions video. This is ClayMMDude25 saying thank you for listening and goodbye.